If every lane on the track measures the exact same distance, why does lane position matter so much? You see, the inside lanes have the tightest curves, forcing athletes to lean harder and fight for balance. The outside lanes are smoother, but you can't see your competitors until the very end. That's where the middle lanes, 3 through 6, earn their reputation as the sweet spot. Studies show that in the 200 meters, difference between inside and outside lanes can be about one-tenth of a second. In the 400, it can be closer to two-tenths. That may sound tiny, but at the elite level, it's the margin between gold and silver, or silver and nothing at all. There's also psychology at play. In the middle lanes, you're surrounded. Competitors to your left and right, perfect for gauging your position. Out in lane 8, you're often running blind, and on the inside, you're chasing shadows ahead of you while battling that brutal curve. But there's also other factors at play. Lane assignments aren't random. Fastest qualifiers almost always get the middle lane, so it's hard to separate lane advantage from athlete ability. Still, history has shown that even in the so-called worst lanes, greatness can break through. Like Wade Van Niekerk's world record from lane 8 in Rio. So, does lane position decide the race? Well, not entirely, but it does tilt the odds. Middle lanes offer comfort and balance. Inside lanes punish, outside lanes isolate, and in a sport where hundredths of a second matter, those small differences can change everything.